Hello, I'm Jeremy Reich from Umbrella Consulting, and I'm going to quickly show you how to put stock codes on hold and then explain what the different hold statuses are. So first of all, I'm going to show you method one, which is stock code by stock code. So we go into stock code maintenance. And once you select your stock code, and in this case, we'll just go with E111. And I can either use Control H on my keyboard, or I can go to Edit on Hold Status. And here I can select Full Hold, indicate my reason, which um, you can define a list on your own. This is just a list that came with the test data. And save that. And that's it. That code is now on full hold. If I wanted to do more than one code at a time, it would be crazy for me to go one by one. And so I can use the batch on hold maintenance program. Um, again, in Cisco 8, uh, if I go stock code, I'm going to search codes that are not on hold right now. Uh, I'm going to do a range of codes just to make it pull a little bit faster. And I know the range that I want to put on hold, so I'm going to type in uh, the start of the range and the end of the range. And then at the bottom here, very important, I'm going to specify my reason code for this. Let's say test. Okay, and then when I start my review, you see all the codes that are within that range come up. I'm going to put these ones on on hold and I can either put them on full hold or partial hold. I'm going to do partial and my reason code is going to be applied to all four. So I go ahead and do that. And now those four are on partial hold with no errors. If there was an error, it would come up in this column right here. Okay. I'm going to close that and then I'm going to go to stock code inventory and go back to one of the ones that are on hold. And now you can see that this stock code is on full hold. Uh, so what's the difference? Partial hold. Partial hold allows you to carry out the transactions that are already in the system. Uh, for example, you can sell the product still. Um, the, the purpose of the partial hold is something that you're discontinuing, but you still have stock and you want to deplete it. So you put on partial hold so you can't make new POs for it. Um, but you can continue to sell it until it's all gone. Um, a full hold, of course, is the opposite. So you can't do any transactions with it, except for if it's already in the ship column, you can invoice um, at the time it goes on hold, um, or you can do stock takes with it still. Um, and if you're using MRP, uh, you can still run requirements on a stock code that's on a full hold. And that's it. Thanks for watching.